Hi everyone, Nick here. I'm back with an exciting new project that I've been working on sort of in parallel with the Mid Motor Bandit project you've seen before. And I'm ready to share what I've got and I'm pretty excited to share it with you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, as you've probably already guessed by the title of the video and the thumbnail and the fact that this is just sitting here in front of me, this video is going to be about 3D printed tire inserts. Um, now I know in the crawler world they call these things no foams or they'll call them anti-foams, but I'm gonna call it an airless insert. And the reason for that's kinda simple, right? If you go into the real world and ask a non-RC person what an airless tire is, they will describe to you something like this. Um, yeah, if you ask them what a no foam or an anti-foam is, they'll just kind of look at you confused because they're not going to know what you're talking about. So I just feel like the term airless insert is a term that's going to be uh, more universally recognized and understood uh, even in um, outside the RC world. So yeah, that's, you know, that's my thoughts on it, but this is what I've been working on lately, and um, I've been testing these and designing these and running them in my mid-motor Bandit, and they've been doing great. So I think what I'll do right now before I get into the details about this is I'll show you a clip of me running my Bandit on an outdoor dirt track uh, with a set of tires that has these inserts in them, and I'll let you be the judge of whether you think these are good or not. Oh, under the red one, under the red one. All right, so, you know, you saw that video. Maybe I'm biased because it was me driving and because it's my car and because it's my insert design, but I thought that looked great. I thought that's looked, the, the car looked the best it's ever looked at that track. If you go back to a couple of my previous videos on the mid motor Bandit project, you'll see me driving at that same track. And I think in this clip I just showed you, the car looks faster than it's ever looked in any of those other clips I've showed you at that same track. And that comes down to the fact that these inserts um, are just really great. And the reason they're great is the reason why the crawler guys love them as well. They're really soft in compression like this way. Um, they're soft like an open cell insert, but they have really firm sidewall support that you get uh, from, like from a closed cell foam. So it's really the best of both worlds in terms of uh, the different types of tire inserts that you can get all in a single package. And the other nice thing about these is these just work right away. Um, I pull them straight off the printer, I throw them in a tire, and they work instantly. Unlike closed cell foams where you have to you know, punch out a whole bunch of holes from them and maybe V cut the inside and and maybe you know throw them into a, a tire break-in jig to help break them in and soften them up even a little more um, these you just throw in the tire you glue it up and they just work um, and another nice benefit of these is this tpu material is a chemical resistant material so i've sprayed this in um, liquid wrench and let it sit overnight 
and it did absolutely nothing to this TPU. It's not gonna break the TPU down like a closed cell insert will break down over time when you sauce a tire. Um, so this is gonna gonna last in a tire. Like you'll you'll kill your tires long before you kill your inserts. Um, yeah. So these things are. Uh, I think honestly, these 3D printed inserts, these these airless inserts. <laughs> Make sure I call them what I said I was going to call them. Uh, I think these airless inserts are, are really going to change up uh, the racing scene um, because I do think they're just that much better. And I'm not the only one who thinks this. I've handed these out to a couple local racers and they've had the same feedback that they've noticed a, an increase in grip. They feel like they can get on the throttle a little earlier out of a turn, that it provides a little more forward grip. Um, that it's just, yeah, they're just there's just something special about these that just work well. And as a, a bonus spoiler, uh, I haven't mentioned this about the Bandit yet, but the last two races that I've been to with the Midmotor Bandit, I won. So, you know, not only is this Midmotor Bandit probably the fastest Bandit ever and the most advanced Bandit ever, but it's now got two race wins in its belt and uh, Part of that is due to these inserts. These inserts are just so good. So, yeah, um, that's that's it for performance. And, and now I want to show you guys a couple things about what I've found with mounting these and and putting them on the wheel and all that stuff. All right, I just want to show you guys real quick how I like to mount these up. They're a little tricky, um, but this is the easiest method I've found so far. I like to just take the insert and slip it over the wheel first. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort to get it started, but once you do, it just should slide right on like that. Um, I get asked this a lot with these inserts, whether they're directional. I honestly don't think it makes a difference, um, but if you wanna get really anal about it, I think probably the best way to treat these is, if you look at these on the outside, you can see these lines running here and they're kinda curved like a chevron on a regular tire. So I think if you just assume this direction is like a chevron on a regular tire, I think that would be the way to go. And then uh, to get the tire onto uh, this assembly here, you just flip your tire inside out. Uh, you hold it in your hand like this. You get them you know, next to each other like this. And you just flip the tire on over that insert. Finally, uh, the last, it's a bit of challenge here. It's a little bit tricky to get the tire bead into the channel on the wheel. And so to do that, you just have to like push upwards and get the insert out of the way so you can get the bead into that channel. Um, but it's not that difficult. You just go around, get it in there. Yep, there you go. So not terribly difficult, but just a little different than a normal tire insert. And then, you know, finally you would just lift the bead like usual and stick your glue there and set the bead back down into the glue and that's how you glue them up. Finally, in terms of venting, I actually haven't been venting these. I just use the holes that are molded into the wheel. Um, but if you did want to vent it, I would say vent it on the outside of the tire like I have here with these um, dirt webs. Don't vent on the side walls. My concern with venting on the sidewall is dirt and debris is gonna get stuck in between the webbing here and it's gonna throw your tire out of balance. So um, if you're gonna vent them, don't vent on the sidewalls. Yeah, that's it. All right, so I didn't make this video just to tease you guys with some inserts that you can't have. Like, hey, look at this insert, it's so great, but you can't have it, goodbye. Uh, no, that'd be kind of mean. So um, I've actually set up an online store. I'm excited to announce that I will be selling these in my store. Uh, so I've got the link in the description below that you can click to find these and buy these. And right now I've just got these 2.2 inch buggy rear inserts in there. But in the future, I do plan on expanding my offering to um, have these inserts for other kinds of tires like eight scale buggy tires or uh, stadium truck tires. Um, as I, you know, develop more, more designs for them, I'll get them on the store and get them for sale. So yeah, if you want to try these out for yourself and, and, you know, see how great they are, or if you just want to support the channel and, you know, uh, that's the way you want to do it, then that'd be awesome. You know, click the link in the description, buy a couple, I'd be happy.
All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. What do you guys think? Do you think airless insert is a good name or do you think it's stupid and that I should go with no foams or anti foams? Um, do you even think these are gonna be the thing of the future? Or do you think these are just gonna be a fad like VTR wheels were? Um, you know, would you wanna try these? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and otherwise, do all the other usual YouTube things like share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And again, you know, I'd appreciate if you supported me by, you know, going to my store, link in the description, and, and buying some of these to try for yourself. Otherwise, have a good day and thanks for watching.